Welcome to standing Pilates. This little sequence is only done standing, so there's nothing done on the floor. We'll use our own body weight and our feet and our entire core to support us. For a brief moment, stand with a nice distance apart with your feet, toes turning out, heels nice and active. Take your hands on your hips and just start to tip your pelvis forwards and backwards. So we start to find the interior and the posterior toe to the pelvis. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, and take a little hip circle going clockwise. And then counterclockwise. Good. And there, lift up onto your toes, lift your heels. And then lift up your toes and then go down through your heels, find your balance. Lift your heels onto the toes and back and forth, back and forth. Fantastic. From there, shift your weight into your left foot, brush your right heel like you're kicking a soccer ball on an angle, and reach your right knee into your chest. Good. Exhale. Contract the pelvic floor, perineum. Shift your weight into your right foot, brush the left inner edge of the foot off and up into your chest. And then we weight shift transfer towards the other side and we'll keep the right knee up this time. Good. From there, go ahead and start to turn, point your right toes forward, hook, pull your right hip back. We're going to take 10 pulses going up here. So take a breath in, engage your glutes, firm your belly, hug into the midline and pulse up for 10. <laughs> Now from here, take your right leg out on an angle, turn your right toes out. Keep your chest reaching forward and towards the ground. From there, engage your right glute and then pull the right leg back up for 10. Okay, it's all right. If you lose balance, we're human, right? Go for another five. Come on back. Keep your right foot hovering, turn your right toes out like you're about to kick that right foot with the soccer ball, and then kick your right foot in and up for 10 through the inner thigh. Adduction. Five. Good. Bring that right leg back, but keep your right hip hiked up into your socket. Take your right leg out and we're going to kick out to the right for 10. Last four. Last two. Good. From there, bring your right knee into your center. Keep your right hip into your socket. That left leg and glute are strengthening to stabilize you. From there, taking a little box shape with your right knee. Out. Down. In and up, out, down, in, and up, out, down, in, and up, go the other way, down, out, up, and in, down, out, up, and in, one more like that, good, now from there, take your right leg out in front of you, point your toes, circle the leg around for 10, Clockwise, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, reverse. It's okay if you have the bring the left foot off the ground for a set. Go counterclockwise now, point the toes for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug the knee into the chest. Extend your right leg out forward, bend the knee, exhale, kick it forward, bend the knee, kick it forward, two more, push through your heel, one more, good, lower your right foot down, shake up your legs, we'll take some squats in between sides. Take your toes out, 
heels out a little bit here. Bring your hands on your hips, your hands at heart center. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, bend the knees out, lower down through your tailbone. Exhale, push the legs down, engage your glutes, come up. Five more, four more of those, inhale. Squeeze your glutes. Push away through your feet. Pull through the inner thighs. Two more. Last one. Awesome work. Keep the toe the feet in a little bit more here. Keep the toes turned out. Brush your left foot in and up. Good. Now from there, send your left leg forward. Point your toes. And we'll pulse up for 10. Ribs in, belly firm. Three, two, one. Good. From there, take your left leg behind, turn your left toes out to the left, engaging that left glute, bending into the right knee. Here we go. Keep that gaze forward, pulse back. Ten. Control, turn your left toes out, kicking through your left inner thigh, pulse up to the right, adduction for 10. Good, bring that left leg back, keep that left leg hiked into the hip socket. We kick out through the outer edge of the left foot for 10. towards your chest. Good. We take that little box shape. Out, down, in, up. Two more. Keep breathing. And then reverse. Good. From there, down, out, in, through. Good. Two more. Nice work. And then from there, you can shake it out and bring that left knee back in. Once you bring that left knee back in, we start to take those leg circles. Good. From there, find your clockwise. <laughs> it's a lot on one leg. Good. Inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Lower it down, shake out your right leg. Got one more little thing on that left leg here. Good, from there, bring your left knee into the chest. Hamstring extensions here, leg extensions. Here we go, breathe in. Set it up. And then extend your left leg out for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good, bring it in, lower it down, shake up both of your legs. And then we'll come into a nice wide stance here. Take your toes out, heels in, bend your knees a little bit here. From there, take your hands on your hips, inhale, lift your chest up a little bit. Exhale, round in, feel like your ribs are knitting like a corset, like bungee wires, close it in. One more of those. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Lift up. Take your arm down line with your shoulders. Good. Take your right arm up and your, your right arm up, palm facing to the left. Take your left palm, left arm down, left palm facing to the right. Take a breath in. Exhale. Twist and side bend. Come back up and switch. Come on up and switch. 
Next time, come on up and switch. And then we pulse it up for five. Come on up and switch, and we pulse it up for five again. Come on up. Exhale, bring your hands on your hips. Take your left hand down on your left thigh, reach your right arm up and over towards the left. And stretch to the right side of your waist. Come on back up and switch over towards the other side. Come on back up. Exhale, bring your hands on your hips. Heel toe your feet in. Good. Now from there, shift your weight into your left foot. Okay, come high to your right toes. From there, bring your right knee into your chin towards the hip height. And then take your right leg out behind you, balancing on your left toes, pelvic floor engaged. Really lift up to your belly, your low ribs in. And you can take your right toes back as well on the ground or keep your right toes hovering for a bit more fire. Engage your glutes on your left leg. Good, and then from there, we'll take five little pulses with the right leg back and we'll start to actually bend that right knee. So take a breath in. Exhale, bend the right knee in. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl in. Last two. One more. Bring it back. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. And lower it down. Good. Shift your weight onto your right foot. Bring your left knee into the chest. Exhale, tip it forward. Again, you can have your left toes down on the ground for support. Or point the left toes back. From there, inhale, exhale, bend that left knee, inhale, lengthen, exhale, curl, inhale, exhale, curl, two more. Last one. Come on back up. Extend. Lower it down. Good. Take your stance a little bit wider now. From here, bend into your left knee. You're going to try and drag the right foot in towards the left. Breathe in. Exhale, bend into your left knee. Pull your right leg again. Then up. Lower down and press it up to the side. Good, and switch sides. From there, take your left leg out. Inhale, bend your right knee, slide it in. And up. Lower down and push it out. And heel toe your left foot in. Good. Shake out your hands, shake out your feet. Curl over the top of the right toes, top of the left toes. And then from there, sit into a squat. Take your hands on your thighs and just let the inner thighs release a little bit here. Roll the shoulders back. Good. Lower an inch. Lift an inch. Lower an inch. Squeeze the glutes, lift up an inch. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good, now sit down a little bit. Lift your right heel and left heel off the ground. Sit down a little bit lower. Lower the hips an inch. Lift an inch. Lower, lift. 
Lower. Lift. Shh. Two more. Shh. Last one. Shh. Come up. Push your toes out. Heels coming down. Walk your feet in. And just start to find a little figure eight. Take your right hip up, back and around, and your left hip up and to the left. Left hip comes back, down and around. Right hip comes up to the right. Reverse direction. Right hip down to the right, up. Left hip down to the left and up. Right hip down to the right and up. And come back to center. Good. From there, we'll take a little roll down and a roll up just to release the spine. Inhale. Exhale, firm your belly, chin to your throat. Begin to bend the knees, rag the spine down one vertebra at a time. Begin to slowly roll yourself up. One last little exercise here. Bring your arms out, bring your legs a little bit wider. We're going to take our opposite elbow to knee. So from here, shift your weight into your right foot. Bring your left knee into the into the hip, height of the hip. Bring your right elbow to meet your left knee. And extend. Draw it in. And out, in, and extend, and then release and switch sides. Breathe in, and out, breathe it out, and in, one more, bring it in. forward, full breath in, full breath out. Thank you so much for practicing. Namaste.